Ballyclare District Historical Memorial Association The Mountain View Tavern Massacre The Mountain View Tavern on the Shanko Road has seen its fair share of horror during the Troubles, having been bombed twice by the IRA. The first time on the 23rd of May 1971, the IRA using a £20 explosive device bombed the building, injuring over 18 people. Then again on the 5th of April 1975, and much like the Biardo Bar bombing, the bar was attacked under an indiscriminate hail of gunfire, as well as an explosive device, killing five people and injuring many more, some of whom lost limbs. And all this during a period of ceasefire when the IRA and British government had entered into a truce on the 10th of February 1975. The 5th of April 1975 was the day of the Grand National, with Les Cargo winning the race, beating Red Drum by 15 lengths. This was a major sporting event and the bar, as with many other bars, was packed with people there to watch. It was around 6pm that two members of the IRA entered the bar and immediately started shooting, before the third terrorist entered and laid the bomb near the doorway to cause as much destruction as possible. The cowards then fled the scene, driving away in a car which was later abandoned and found in the Republican area of Springfield Road. The explosion was huge bringing in the roof on top of the customers. It took several hours for rescue services to free everyone from the carnage. Yet again, the IRA denied that it was anything to do with them. Instead, the Republican Action Force claimed they carried out this atrocity. But it is no secret and it is known that the Republican Action Force is a cover name for the IRA and a journalist claimed that the INLA were also involved with this group. In 2012, 37 years after this massacre, a 54-year-old man was arrested in County Antrim by the PSNI Serious Crime Branch in connection with this atrocity, only to be released the next day. This is another massacre carried out against the Protestant community with no justice being received for the victims and their families, nor for the survivors who live with this atrocity to this day. The only way to prevent history from repeating itself is to be informed of the past and to ensure that these horrific events are not forgotten and that Sinn Féin IRA cannot hide the truth nor rewrite it. We will not forget the victims of this atrocity. William Andrews, age 33, Protestant civilian. Alan Madden, aged 18, Protestant civilian. Albert Fletcher, age 32, Protestant civilian. Nathaniel Adams, age 29, Protestant civilian. Joseph Bell, aged 52, Protestant civilian.